most popular ghetto area in Zimbabwe is known for its early morning hustle, the air laden with the scent of competition. Mbari is possibly the busiest per capita square meter in Zimbabwe, and they say you can find almost anything there. Here's what I found. I was over the moon. Um, I'm Perpetual Sechtema. I'm the captain of the Zimbabwe Network team, also known as the Zim Gems. Twelve unlikely women from the unlikeliest backgrounds will be raising our banner and flying the Zimbabwean flag high at the Netball World Cup final this summer in Liverpool, UK. These ladies are the only Zimbabwean national team in history to qualify for any World Cup, but guess what? No one is talking about it. The team is made up of ladies who come from different backgrounds, but they have two things in common. Their unquestionable love for their country and their undying love for netball. Uh, my favorite player is uh, Felista Squangwa, who is also my vice captain. Okay, my name is Felista Squangwa. I'm a correctional prison officer and also a student at Uh She's good, she's a defender. Uh, she gets most of the intercepts. When the captain's voice cannot reach out to the defenders, I'm the one who can initiate that. I can say everyone's my favorite player, but I'm really inspired by my team captain, Perpetual Sashitema. Stella Nkondilong is Tiva. And Noshanda Zimbabwe National Army. Oh, one player I would want to play against is uh, Clarice Karamba. Uh, she's the youngest, though. Hey, she gives me a tough time. I don't know if Clarice Karamba is going to form six last year from Shana High School. I'm going to get 20 points. Our training program is like we wake up uh, at 5 a.m., uh, we do our morning jog at 5.30, uh, we walk from, from St. Peter's to, to, to start at for training, then start training at 9. I'm not happy with the support that we're getting because uh, uh, me and my girls, we have worked very hard to get where we are today. I mean, qualifying for World Cup for the first time, but we're really not getting the, the support. I don't really know why. Is it maybe because we are ladies? I, I don't know. It would be a great honor if uh, the, the minister would just like come visit us. I think it will also motivate us as, as, as ladies. I need you guys out there to just come and support us, please. Um, it will be devastating if we don't make it to the UK. This is the first time that Zimbabwe has qualified for the World Cup. I think the case is covered. Plus, the minister will do the sports. They need this and that. I think Katuo Mama to Kumbro, she's my sister, I can't say Mama, she's my sister. To Kumbro, Mutibatro, my training kids, my track suits, she's sitting at the end and they go to Nora, Atina, my sneakers, Atina. I think I'm concerned about it because Muno, I can't my sports. For any netball player um, in any country, this is the biggest stage that you can ever perform in for your country, so it will be very disappointing if our country can't back us up and help us in, that, in this situation. Uh, my biggest fear is Kunya Sanike do not the way we look at Ninga Chirati Ziganayo, the way at Ninga Chiluka, Kusakwensa could give out our best, Kunisa Nike, Dukusimu Ziranike, and then even Kusai and Doko would cap. One way I can use to describe the feeling if you don't make it to the World Cup is uh, disappointed. 
Kashi wa Marego ndo World Cup ka tracho ka dika ina ngundi no chema ndi kunyeba kunzi Zimbabwe haisikwe nda World Cup isi sitaka tambo qualify. So missing this tournament will be a great loss to us. Ah ndikaradza kuenda ku World Cup. Mm ndingarwadziwe cause ya kwata pa kure ichishingirira since 2004 chingo shingirira. Ii daje bvira ga Matibatira kuti tigone kuenda ku World Cup. First time yedo kuenda ku Liverpool netball team ye Zimbabwe. The national team had nowhere to stay, so the church stepped in to help, and they were welcome to stay free of charge at a local church school. They, however, still don't have a gym or sufficient kit and training equipment. They have inadequate first aid or medicine kits in case of injury, and even their diet is inappropriate for sportswomen. The food that we are having, I think it's not good enough for, for, for sports persons because we need fruits, we need some juices. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we can't afford to have uh, such things. One word I can use uh, to describe the circumstances that uh, we are right now is uh, patient. If we can have enough funds so that we can have good campsite, good facility for training, even the, the training kits, if we can just like uh, put on same types of training kits, same sneakers, I think it will really help us and it will motivate us also. I asked the girls to tell me who their role models are and what message they would like to send them. Okay, Kaduandino Fario. My name is Matara Nikani Murumi Wabo. If I could send a message to anybody, I would send it to the first lady. Um, I would say, Mommy, we love you. We need your support. We are in camp. We need to go to Liverpool. But I know uh, things are not going on so well for us. So, Mommy, because of your soft heart, I think we really need your help. My role model is Mrs. Makandewa because she's always helping people, especially young ladies. Chikumbiro changu na mai matara nika. Desho kuti teje zira nda kuno kusanga na navo. Bati bati roseva nwe chikazi. Kuti tuno jita kura se. Kuti kana chinge tendo kunze kwenik. Sanu nyadzisa. Um, my role model is uh, my Sandra Tawgire. Shopping at the church for Seventh Day Adventist. Um, my role model would be um, Frank Bianca. Um, he's one of the biggest businessmen here in Zimbabwe. Um, I think I can relate to him because he's lived in the UK and also studying pr product design. Um, his cre creative influence that he has within his business, I can also relate as a student. My role model is Mrs. Titi Masiwa, uh, the wife to Strife Masiwa. Um, my role model is Mrs. Karen Mutasa. Um, her business was all about making sure that women look good all the time, wherever they are. I know about Sirava and Avakawanda in Zimbabwe. I know Ona, the Higher Life Foundation. Um, if I had to ask Frank for something, it would be funding for friendly games. I know Australia, South Africa, New Zealand have already started their friendly games, and we still haven't got our friendly games rolled in yet. So it would be a good help to get our friendly games going now before July. Watching these girls, seeing them train from early morning throughout the day with no complaints was deeply inspiring. I can't help but imagine, what if all their role models stepped up to help? What if Mavis Mataranyika, Sandra Tagwire, Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa, Titi Masiwa, and Frank Buyanga knew that they had inspired the Zimbabwe dream girls. I have no idea if this will ever get their attention. I just wanted to play my part to get the message out. If there's anyone out there who believes our girls deserve a chance, please help. The way I see it, these girls have given everything for their country. They're not asking a lot to have their country give a little in return. <laughs>